All right, and uh, now we're going to take a look at the uh, MDX filter clause. And if you notice, as according to the PowerPoint I have up here, the uh, filters are the closest thing that we have uh, within MDX to a SQL WHERE clause. What we have here is the first parameter in a filter, as is shown down in here, uh, the filter uh, function down here highlighted in yellow. The first thing we're looking down here is first parameter, which is a set, which is in this salmon color or whatever color you would call that. So I've got a product that product categories category down here for my uh, first tuple and then in measures I have internet sales. The second parameter is the logical expression down here shown and that's greater than um, so as I have greater than zero and we can combine things which I'll show you down here in just a second when I run the code. I'm now over in Intelligence uh, Studio and uh, I'm sorry, I'm in SQL Server Management Studio. And the first thing we're going to do is just run a regular old uh, query down here, and just so you can see the select statement. So now I have the results. I have uh, internet gross amount down here, and internet sales amount, internet gross profit down here, or I'm sorry, internet gross profit, the first measure is internet sales mount and then the internet gross profit which is actually a, a, a calculated measure down here so now I see I've retrieved those both down here now let's take a look at using it within the filter clause so now I've added a filter and what we're going to do is this is the same code as I had in the PowerPoint greater than or equal to zero so now what I want to do is I'm going to pass in this set and I want to do a return up here I want to a, select a internet gross profit down here on columns and I'm going to filter uh, by internet sales amount. All right, <clears throat> so now down here I've got the uh, greater than or equal to zero and if you remember in the last query, which of course you don't, I had nulls down here in components. Now I'm putting in an OR clause. So I've got then greater than uh, 75K or uh, less than 10K. Now execute. So now I've got the, the uh, nulls back in here and because of my components down here, oops, let me get out of that. So, great, so now I'm retrieving back here greater than or less than 10,000 and of course the components down here qualify because now they're less than the 10,000. You can chain together your ORs and your logical operators in a filter clause just like you can in a, a SQL WHERE clause.